Hi friends, and thanks for joining me for this issue of Rise Over Run. In these videos, we focus on topics of interest to small business owners, or more specifically, small business owners who know the struggle to grow is real. Once you get a business up and running, it can be too easy to focus on managing the day-to-day -day operations of your business, the run part. But if you spend all your time running the business, then it becomes a challenge to grow the business, the rise part. This is your regular reminder to spend some time on the rise over the run. This week, we're going to talk about the commodity concern. More specifically, how do you stand out from your competitors? If the only way you distinguish yourself is on price, then unless your company name is Walmart, you might be in trouble. And your product or service might be considered a commodity to your customers. I don't think it's news to any of you, but I work with a lot of small businesses and they all tell me the same thing. First, they say, we don't compete on price, but we do actually sometimes often compete on price. And they say, we don't compete on price because we deliver the best customer service, the highest quality, the most responsive team, and so on and so forth. I'm sure that's true, but how is it that you have the best service and quality, but so does every other small business that I speak with? I want you to think for a moment, what are the elements that make your business stand out from the competitors? Why would someone who doesn't know you decide to work with you rather than someone else? And don't tell me it has anything to do with price. What well, might be some of the reasons? Perhaps it's your intellectual property, your technology, your processes, whatever that secret sauce is that makes you deliver something that is clearly better than the others. Some companies definitely have that. Or maybe it's that you have successfully narrowed down your customer base to be sure that you are the expert in that niche, that industry, the one who knows the ins and outs of how your customers operate, what frustrates them and how you can make their lives easier. You are the industry expert in that specific niche. Sometimes you have a geographic advantage. You know your local area better than anyone and people are more inclined to work with you uh, when they do business locally than they work with some other bigger organization that can't find its way around your town without a GPS. Ultimately, the key is to continue to stay focused on whatever that competitive advantage is and to be prepared for it to go away. Change is the only constant. So don't sit back and relax once you think you've gotten this all figured out because you haven't. <laughs> The only solution to avoiding being a commodity is to be constantly innovating. Check out the hyperlink I'll share with the video from the National Center for Economic Gardening, who has a terrific explanation of the commodity trap and how it can destroy whole communities. Now, I don't mean to scare you with all this talk, but I do want to make sure you're learning some lessons from the past few years. One thing we learned first from COVID and the supply chain mess, and then from the post-COVID inflation, is that consumers are not nearly as brand loyal as they used to be. As the CEO of Best Buy stated recently, customer loyalty is becoming a scarce commodity. Ha, get the irony. You are trying to avoid being a commodity, but customer loyalty is considered one by the giant CEOs? Strange description. And it's not just because of the economy and COVID. Now that we can search online for nearly anything, we expect to get exactly what we want, when we want it, with little friction in the purpose, in the purchase. Uh, think about Amazon. So now let's get back to that solution, innovation. What are you doing today to innovate? How do you stand out from your competitors? Why would a potential customer pick you rather than someone else? And are you finding the time to continually think about innovating the ways you produce or deliver your product or service? If you're not, you can be sure that at least some of your competitors are. So as we think about that concept of rise over run, I want you to constantly be thinking about how to find time consistently to focus on the rise part, the innovations that can help you stand out and that make sure people don't ask for your price first before they learn more about your business. Expect to hear more on this concept in future videos and feel free to share your thoughts with me directly on being a commodity. You can email me at kelly at secondstagegrowth.com or find me on LinkedIn or Facebook or just comment on this video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope this got you thinking. Are you curious to discuss topics like this and more with other small business owners? Then join our, month, our bi monthly meetings on the third weekday of the third week at 3 p.m. Central. Our next discussion is coming up in one week on Wednesday, November 20th, where we will have a discussion on AI. Is it useful, a waste of time, or a sign of a forthcoming robot apocalypse? Let's discuss. Join me then. Thanks. Bye.